You look beautiful, Coco. So you guys, Coco and I go to the vet every three to six months. Every three to six months, we get um, all the full plan the full panel blood tests so all the blood tests um sometimes x-rays yep just to make sure coco is in optimal health and it's been a few months since we went so back we go and then whenever we go i say oh you know coco hasn't been going to the bathroom as often and then the doctor checks her out and then he says you know nothing's wrong with her she seems fine some cats just don't go as often and she is taking a stool softener to help and metamucil as well so i get one can of three ounce tuna for each meal so that's twice a day one three ounce can of tuna of fancy feast coco likes the the tuna one don't you coco and we also have beef but when it's time for beef Coco doesn't eat that much. But when it's tuna, Coco eats a lot. So I've been mixing in a little bit of beef and mainly tuna. Yep. So for the beef, I have a lid. And then I just get a little scoop so, you know, she gets balanced nutrients. We've tried other foods, but Coco is a little bit picky, so right now we're sticking to tuna and beef. But we're expanding our options. Right, Coco? I also put a little bit of Metamucil. The vet said one tablespoon of Metamucil, but I think that was kind of a lot. Because if you do too much, then she'll have soft stool, so... I just sprinkle a little bit on and then because the Metamucil kind of absorbs all the water, I have to add a little bit of water. So yep, if it seems like I'm overfeeding Coco, it's because I mix water into it. Because if you don't, then the Metamucil will make the tuna super slimy and gunky and Coco doesn't like that. And then sometimes I go a little bit heavy-handed with the water by mistake because I'm getting water from the water purifier and yeah. Oh, Coco twitched. But I try not to do too much water because I want her to drink just fresh water as well. But that's what we do. Once in the morning and once in the evening. But yeah, hopefully everything goes well at the vet. I think the vet probably thinks I'm like this hypochondriac because I keep on bringing in my healthy cat and being like, oh, can we, you know, can you check her out? Just make sure she's healthy. And they're like, so what's wrong with her? And I'm like, well, nothing particularly. I mean, other than the fact that she doesn't go to the bathroom as often. So sometimes, you know, I get a little bit worried. And I have a Petivity monitor to monitor Coco's bathroom habits and weight. So that really comes in handy. Coco's actually been losing a little bit of weight. The Petivity monitor keeps on sending me alerts. So that's why I have been adding in that extra little spoon of food in addition to the one um, three ounce can of tuna
Hey, Cuckoo. You look like an angel. <laughs>